Alderman Rohde has a history dating back several years ago to his support of BJC building a medical waste incinerator right here in the neighborhood. As you know, the straw that broke the camel's back was his support for the sale of Hudland Park, the 12 acres of Forest Park land uh, just straight down the street from our house in the Forest Park Southeast neighborhood, Central West End. And a lot of people got really upset about that to BJC. Um, but basically it boils down to who our elected representatives represent. Do they represent their constituents or do they represent big developers and institutions like BJC? We have gone out, neighbors have gone out uh, to public hearings and testified. 40, 50 people testified at an uh, eminent domain hearing when they were getting ready to put the McCormick Barron property, uh, the uh, assisted living uh, uh, project in and testified against that. Mr. Rohde voted for it. Again, Hudland Park, uh, residents came out. There was absolutely no support at the hearing for it. He voted for it. He votes just uh, the opposite of what constituents ask him. We did, like I said, we got him to come to a public forum and really he um, he just went on and on and on about uh, World War II and the white flight from the city and people know the history of the decline in population in this area. What we wanted to talk about, and he just constantly skates the issue, is his legislative work, which is exclusively around eminent domain, blighting, tax abatement, vacating public uh, property, um, and tax increment financing. All of this, all of these legislative acts reduce the uh, income and the revenue for the city. Uh, we're always hearing we're broke. We don't have money for the schools. We don't have access to health care. You know, we don't have uh, uh, our sewers or are, are, uh, uh, falling apart. And here are legislators, and Mr. Rohde is not the only one. He's not the only alderman engaged in that kind of activity and, and legislative work. You know, we have just started. It took uh, it was a long process to get people convinced that that's where we wanted to go. We have no funding, basically no funding, and it's, it's you know, between seven and ten people that are committed to gathering signatures. Uh, but it takes a lot of effort. And I think that it shows just how fed up people are you know, I'm sure a lot of people will use it as a negotiating tool. Uh, personally, I think that Mr. Rohde is a business person. He's an, a CPA. I, I, just, I just think that it's in his blood that he is going to do eminent domain, blighting, tax increment financing, tax abatement. I think that's basically what he knows how to do. It's his expertise. I just don't think you can change spots on a leopard, personally.